I'm Jennifer Angel, and this is my weekly message. A few things happening this week. First of all, there's a new moon. I love new moon time because it's like the new start of a new solar cycle for a star sign, and we and this time it's for Virgo. And but of course, we all get like a brush off of the energy as well. So what we want to do now is just use this time for the rest of us to reassess our life. It's a great time, particularly as the Sun and Venus is all also in um, Virgo during this week. It's to reassess our life, look at where we've come, how far we've come, what we did, what we didn't do, where we want to end up and how we're going to get there. Okay, But in doing that, don't be critical with yourself um, about how what you didn't do. And try and take the word should out of your vocabulary and replace it with could. Because when you say should, I should have done that, you make yourself wrong. When you say I could do that, you give yourself options. There's a whole different vibration that goes with that. So, uh, lesson for you this week. Eliminate the word should, replace it with could. I should have. I could have, uh, you know, I, I should have done it differently. Uh, not so much. I could have done it differently. One's on a negative note, one's on a positive note. So we want to put out the positive. It's always good when you're goal setting, and this is a great time to, even though it's like almost the start of September, a great time to set goals, reassess your goals. And always with goal setting, you want to put everything in the affirmative. So think about one of the tricks or keys, let's say, to manifestation is to put things in the affirmative, to think about what you want in your life rather than what you don't want in your life. Because when you continually think about what you don't want, then that's the vibration and energy that you put out there. When you think about what you do want, then that's what you aspire to, and that's the energy that you put out there. It's a very subtle, um, but it makes a huge difference. So it's a subtle shift. Now, if you are... I, th I believe positiveness and negativeness is like a habit. So if you are in the habit of being a glass half empty person, then you have to consciously every day work to change that habit around, consciously work to replace every negative vision, self-talk, word, phrase into a positive one. It takes work. It takes work, but um, the rewards will be well worth it for you. Um, the other thing that's happening, happening still at the moment is that Mars is still in the sign of Cancer. So uh, Cancer being a very sensitive sign and Mars being a very, um, Mars being a very brash, sort of rash energy. It is also the motivator of the zodiac as well, so you know it gets us to uh, do things. But um, while that's on there, for just and for this week, I would just be careful about making any rash moves. You know, think things through. You know, if you all of a sudden you think that's that's what I, that's what I have to do. That's what I should do. I'm going to change everything, and uh, I'm going to let everybody know. You know what? Maybe just think about it for a while, because although you might follow through with that initial thought, perhaps you'll fine-tune it a little bit. And, you know, once you go out there and tell everybody, it's hard to go back. So be careful you don't put yourself in a corner that you can't get out of. So um, keep that in mind for this week. Well, have a great week, everybody. Um, new moon time, so it's fabulous, fabulous. Think big, wish big, and pray hard. And I look forward to seeing you all next week. I'm Jennifer Angel. Bye for now.